Ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube, beyond how you're watching, welcome back to the dojo. I'm Ryu. He's Age. We are back for more animated night in the dojo. And this is going to be Harley Quinn Season 3, Episode 10. And this is going to be the last episode of the season. So, yeah. Um, we'll be replacing Harley Quinn with Archer. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a couple weeks before that happens, just so that we can cycle through everything else that we're doing. Uh, Overlord, Skeleton Knight, all that stuff. Um, and just have everything, you know, start. Um, on episode one again, so I don't lose my mind. I'm already losing my mind enough having to keep track of one show that's off uh, number. So, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Just in general, what we're going to, what we kind of try to do is keep it to where whenever we start new shows, we start them all at the same time. Right. I mean, we could start Archer next week, but then everything's going to be messed up. <laughs> we'll, we'll have an episode one, an episode... 11 in episode 5. No. <laughs> we'll, we'll just take... We'll, we'll give you guys a break on Sundays for a little bit. <laughs> uh, Archer, uh, the latest season of Archer will start and replace Harley Quinn in a couple weeks uh, once everything else is done. So uh, we got episode 11 coming up next week for everything, then 12. Um, so yeah, three weeks from now when uh, Archer will be taking the Sunday slot. But uh, other than that, uh, that being said, just wanted to get that out there again. Uh, not going to be anything on Sunday for a couple weeks. Then we'll be back with Archer, our good buddy, Sterling Archer, super spy. But uh, as for Harley, um, been a pretty big payoff last week in a way. So I don't really know what they're going to do with the last episode. But uh, I'm up for whatever, really. Just kind of a random, just whatever episode that's just kind of there, you know. So whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, I don't really have a an and ask either you know what i mean i don't have a like a wish list for what they uh what i'd like to see because most of the stuff that was going on in the season had got paid off last episode you know everything with frank everything with ivy and the green and stuff um you know we got a little bit more of joker as the mayor uh we got bane's joke came to the end with the pasta maker thing he got his closure he, he can uh, finally move on yeah for bane can finally move on so i, I don't know well you know i, I don't know you know, King Shark started sort of, like, uh, hanging out with Bruce Wayne. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Maybe trend toward the whole, like, Harley joining the Bat Family thing. Start seeding that. I don't know. Or it could just be a... Whatever, just random crazy nonsense episode to end the season. I didn't really look at the title, because that might have spoiled it. So, uh... You know, whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, even if it's a massive flop, the entire rest of the season was great. So, <laughs> um, all I really got going into this one. Nah, man, if the ending's terrible, the whole show's terrible. The ending is paramount. Right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got nothing really. Just hopefully it ends on a reasonable note, you know. So, you got anything, Age? Not really. Well, then let's push some buttons and see how this season wraps itself up, shall we? There goes something. And now... It's still going, huh? Uh, <laughs> damn it, Harley. What the hell? I'm, I'm so sorry! I mean, the whole thing with the zombies and the barfing and the mass murder... Just... I was building Eden! Power it's something... when a villain gotta stop his own villainous self! I mean, it was pretty... pretty badass, I guess. <laughs> That was technically a compliment being checked out, right? Apologies for the abrupt pop in. Ivy, did you change your hair? That's one. I saw what you did at Jazza Yeah, I'm not saying that. Suffice it to say, the scale of potential devastation was enough to make even me soil my boxer briefs. And you don't shit your pants for anything. That is correct. Well, try was. Well, first off, I'd need to be paid an obscene amount of money. Of course. Get that paper! Hey, I really missed you. I know. And obscene I'd, amounts of money uh, is basically what Lex Luthor does. So I run the yeah. <laughs> I get to do whatever I want without needing approval from anyone, including you. The Legion of... I don't want to have to babysit Bane. We'll move him to our Tempe office. Damn. <laughs> so, are you done reburying my dead zombie parents, Alfred? Indeed, sir. <laughs> Perhaps. Because in order to close with Lex, I'm killing the mayor at the premiere tomorrow. Totally! Wait, like, Joker the mayor? Yeah, I mean, Lex has beef. Yes, Joker is, in fact, the mayor. 
Is that gonna be a problem, or...? Ha! <laughs> Let's kill the fucking Joker! Oh, I love that for us. Woo! I will let you in on a secret not many outside of the acting world know. All thespians are vain. <gasps> what?! Audible gasp. It's showtime. Are you here to support me? Even though we're not dating and I find you sad, it doesn't mean I don't want to see you happy. Payne's got his top hat on again. Ex excuse me. Of course he does. Oh, probably an appetizer <laughs> got in my eye. An appetizer got in his eye. Come on. Seriously. We're still doing this after you stopped her plan and saved the city. I used to think you were just an agent of chaos. Damn, how much popcorn is Bane buying over there? I know, that's exactly who I am. <laughs> God bless you, Harley Quinn. Eat shit, loser. Oh my God, how's she? You are proof that anything's possible. H H him finally to... mentioning the CG mustache. <laughs> I have noticed the mustache Generation is never like totally in place. Yeah. That, that's that's hilarious. <laughs> Well, that backfired spectacularly. That's all it takes, huh? <laughs> Welcome to the fam, Harley. Thanks for waiting, you fucking dildos. I'll take the stairs. Well, that's that, and uh, I landed on Sad Bane, so I figured I'd leave it there for a minute, because, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Bane is. Bane is just Bane, you know? He had one hell of a season clinging to one joke, and damn did they make it work. Entire ten episode sequence of, well, nine episodes, but, you know, still. Him clinging to that damn pasta maker, that was damn impressive. I have to give Bane the best supporting character award for this season, period. It's not even close. <laughs> to do so much with so little screen time. Mad props to Bane. <laughs> <laughs> but uh as for this episode i, I yeah all right sort of called it in a way but uh yeah harley fully transitioned into joining the bat family and she has a stable non-toxic relationship with ivy still and it's probably gonna work out they're just gonna do their own thing and be work enemies kind of <laughs> Yeah, they they finally came to terms with separating uh, work from their relationship. Right. And it uh, worked out. Crazy how that works. But, um, yeah, I can live with this. This wasn't bad. I had some moments, uh, you know, Batman's going away for a while. But uh, I still think they can do at least another season with, uh, you know, everything that uh, they put on the table for Harley when she actually does join the Bat family and, you know, the canon comic stuff. Um, while I don't know a ton about it, as I've mentioned before, I know it's a thing. I know she trains with the Amazons at some point. They have that relationship in this show because she, like, you know, in season one or two, whenever that happened, uh, she saved um, the Mascara from whoever the heck that one villain was. I don't even remember at this point. So, yeah. you know, that relationship's already there. Um, the Bat stuff you know, she'll get her own gadgets and stuff like that. So yeah, I like I mentioned during the outro starting around this point is when she like really gets into uh her repurposing other heroes and villains gadgets into her own thing. Right. This is when she starts really getting into the engineering of like picking other heroes and villains apart. Right. Both mentally and physically both their between their gadgets and their mental states mm -hmm. and uh while it didn't have a payoff this season uh the amanda waller stuff is still on the table 
you know what I mean? Yeah, like going forward, we have resolving Batman's trauma to get him to come back. We have Amanda Waller still on the table. Now we have Lex Luthor on the table as a thing. Yeah, so I think they could squeak out a, another 10 episode season, no problem, possibly even two, depending on what they want to do, like possibly with completely original stuff. Um, so I, I think they could do it. Whether they do it, who knows? But uh, it, I think it'd be interesting just because uh, just in more modern stuff, uh, we don't really get to see that side of Harley and that's uh, definitely an interesting part of her character arc. So that's where we're going and I think it'll be good. So uh, hopefully we get at least one more season of like this this dynamic because that'd be uh, that'd be interesting. Uh, but uh, I'd say it was a solid end to the season. You know, kind of wrapped up pretty much everything. Uh, Clayface got his, you know, uh, moment in the sun and... Now, apparently, it's not Clayface, it's just Billy Bob Thornton's a damn shapeshifter, and he's even more awesome than anybody has ever imagined. <laughs> so, you know, uh, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, on the plus side, Clayface now doesn't have to masquerade as Billy Bob Thornton, he just is Billy Bob Thornton. Right, so I guess that's something better than nothing, I guess, right? So... He now ha has an established acting career. Right. So there there you go. And, uh, you know, th that is what it is. But, uh... Also, yeah, like, uh... The mustache. Like, I was going to point that out, that, like, the mustache wasn't really sticking to his face in the first bit, but then <laughs> Clayface specifically calls out that they'd spent like 12 million dollars on the cg mustache right <laughs> once again it's the little things that are winning for this season <laughs> just like you know what are we gonna do about like the cg mustache or not not necessarily cg but what are we gonna do about the mustache for clayface just like let's just make some stupid joke about how it's like a cg mustache and just kind of screw with it <laughs> And even in this sequence, when he was barely moving, the mustache was moving all over his face. <laughs> so uh, that was that was damn hilarious way to do that. That's for sure. So the the little things definitely won out in this season. Uh, the stuff with Joker this episode, uh, whether you're in, into politics or not, uh, damn hilarious from the politics side of stuff. Absolutely fantastically done <laughs> yeah i'm I mean, a maniacal force of nature but i also went free public school like right <laughs> it's just like no is this about the evil layer tax it's about half of a percent get over it i mean you, really get over it i come on yeah. uh you know <laughs> while, while something like that to bruce wayne or lex luther is a lot of money like yeah that's like you know say a hundred and Okay, okay, let's throw a note, say to them that half a percent could be like $250 million. Yes, that is a lot of money. But to them, percentagely, is still half a percent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it is a lot of money. But, you know, that's... Come on. <laughs> but I'm not getting into a politics discussion, so we're going to leave it at that. But this was freaking amazingly done on that end. <laughs> once again ludicrous amounts of money is just what lex luther does exactly uh speaking of the little things the whole uh the whole sequence with ivy in the uh in the costco or whatever uh the fact that like everybody was just taking lex luther talking to her as just like oh uh, yeah that's a thing going on well, this, this is this is the evil mark Right, like yeah. Oh, villain, yeah, this the was the evil market. Yeah, 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 that's right. I don't remember what they exactly called it, but this was the villain supermarket that, like, we saw Bane in and uh, Calendar Man and stuff earlier. Right, yeah, yeah. Then why are there... So all of these guys should be villains of some kind. I wonder if we could, like, figure out which, like, villains they were just in their, like, plain clothes. Just villains and or, like, villain family members and so on and so forth. Right. I'm not entirely sure. Also, the pot thing that was hilarious. <laughs> oh man, that was that was good. 
A hard wane's gonna fa fall, huh? Ugh. <laughs> That's Meat what that was. Celery. So I was gonna point that out. I'm glad I landed on this. I was just like, did Ivy just take a piece of like salami off one of the, uh, like the, you know, sampler platters? What the hell? And that explains it. It's meat, meat flavored, flavored celery. celery. I I kind of raised my eyebrow at that, but I didn't. I, I was gonna bring it back up later, but hey, there there you go. It's meat flavored celery. So there you, there you have it. It's meat flavored, not actual meat. <laughs> that that explains why she took it. I, I was like, man, is she that bummed out about this that she's eating meat? Holy crap, man. Because <laughs> I was gonna bring that up. Like, uh, because I was just thinking about that. I was like, wait a minute, the whole meat thing. And then and I landed on this. So now I don't have to go into that and look stupid. Fantastic. <laughs> so, yeah, that explains that for anybody who missed it. There, there you go. It, it's meat flavored celery. She she didn't really lose her mind and eat actual meat. She's she's good. It was just celery. <laughs> that That's awesome. The little things win again. But, uh. Yeah, th this whole sequence with Lex, uh, that was definitely fun. But uh, oh. yeah, like you said, I I imagine Lex will be a thing next season because yeah, he's gonna be pretty pissed off that Ivy didn't take the deal, right? In the in the end, even after she said she would. Mm -hmm. So th there's plenty of stuff on the table. So I I'm kind of hoping you know it doesn't have to be a, a huge season again. It doesn't have to be you know like uh, 16 episodes or something or whatever. Another 10 would be still pretty solid because. These 10 episodes were great across the board, you know, several different things happened, you know, and it was, it was good. And they still had managed to squeak in in like a big overarching story there at the end with the, the, uh, plant god Frank and, you know, the zombie stuff and it was solid, you know, it flowed very well and it was a great season. So I really have no real complaints about this. So <laughs> solid, solid job across the board and... Uh, that whole episode with going into Bruce Wayne's mind was arguably one of the best just interweavings of comedy and serious that I have potentially ever seen personally. While there could be better or equal out there somewhere that I haven't seen, by all means, personally, from what I've seen, that was fantastic. That was arguably the best episode of the season. So, yeah, all a job with this season, just on the whole. Um, and a, a, a pretty good way to wrap it up. You know, Clayface got his payoff, you know, and it wrapped up a couple other things. So, you know, hey, I was wondering what they could do, and they did a great job with the last episode. So there you have it. You know, very, we very impressive. We didn't get really any sort of payoff to uh, Bruce's plus one. Right, because he did say he was going to ask some, unless it was Selena and she she just asked her and he didn't think she was going to show up, but she did. Yeah, because we never really got any sort of actual confirmation of that. The main two suspects would be Selena or uh, King Shark, but Selena didn't, he didn't seem to know that she was going to be there and King Shark and him never had any interaction actually at the theater. Yeah, because everybody... King Shark just came in with... Yeah. Uh, Clayface and them. Yeah, he, he everybody uh, was just part of Clayface's entourage, and Bruce came alone. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Barbara was there. She was there with him. So it would she had was, to have been her, right? She was there, but we never, I don't think we ever saw her come in with him or anything like that. Right. But she was in the same row as him. I believe in the in that row it was the, the actor that was playing young Bruce Wayne. Bruce and Barbara were like in the front row. I might have just not noticed her. Yeah, because she was there in, uh, like, her sparkly dress or whatever it was. Yeah, because that's her right there behind uh, Joker's hand there. Yeah. Let's see here. Pull back, Joker. Do me a solid. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> yeah. So maybe her or the kid actor? I, I don't know. But yeah, we didn't really get a huge payoff for that, but not that it's super important, but it was something he did bring up because he wasn't going to bring Alfred. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's kind of a random side note thing. But uh, also hilarious that all the cops are now uh, the clowns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bruce even knew one of them by name. 
that was that was great so um yeah uh i had a stand great season great way to end it and uh definitely still has they still have plenty of stuff they can do with another season so i'd be surprised if it if they didn't yeah T totally random other little thing was like i said i'm pretty sure they screwed up at one point and did uh harley's strap on the wrong side for one of the bits when there she's in there uh talking with ivy oh yeah you mentioned that in the live yeah i don't i didn't get a chance to go back and actually look but i'm pretty sure it's in there yeah it might have happened uh but that's you know <laughs> it was probably just because they had it on one side and then they had her turned around or something and they just kind of derped a little bit <laughs> but yeah uh Apart from that, the only other thing is just, yeah, like, Joker's claiming not to be a therapist, but he, his whole shtick is he's always been, like, the villain therapist. Right. <laughs> so, like, his whole spiel there of, like, basically, like, basically friggin' playing marriage counselor between friggin' uh, for Ivy to get her to actually realize what the hell's going on with Harley and the Harley's just yes anding. Right. But yeah, um as for that uh, the last little bit there um it's nice to see a relationship like that work out because Ivy's not the kind of character that would, you know, blow up about it. You know what I mean? So it makes sense. And as far as Harley has come this season, you know, it's nice to see that they worked it out and it didn't like blow up in their face. You know. So uh, that's something we talked about as being a possibility, and it didn't. It's just they're going to be working. They're going to be in a technically working relationship. <laughs> yeah, it's just they. Yeah, they finally. They they finally got the picture that they need to separate their work from their relationship. Right, and that's sometimes what it takes. So bravo. Yeah, but because uh while they uh, have a pretty solid relationship going uh, work-wise, they're definitely working in opposite directions at this point. Ivy's, be Ivy's been becoming more of a villain, whereas Harley's been becoming more of a hero. Right. But uh, at this point, they're not too big to, you know, once again, separate work from their personal lives, so it probably won't be that big of a deal. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle that, since uh, I believe this is the first time in any kind of uh dc stuff that they're like together as a couple you know what i mean i don't think that's a thing anywhere no, else they've harley and ivy have been an off and on thing just depending on like the exact stories and so on and so forth oh yeah yeah I, it's, that's ba it's something basically i, I assume it was just uh original to this series no, Harley is either single with the Joker or with Harley, basically. Uh, Not Harley, I mean Ivy. Okay. Yeah, that's just something I assumed was like something they're kind of like going in a new direction with this series. Um, but if that's the no, case, they, then yeah. No, yeah, they've. That's something that they've played around with for a while now. Is uh, uh, Harley and Ivy as a thing. Got it. Either way, solid season. Great way to wrap it up, and definitely sets the uh, stepping stones for uh, another season or two, I think. So hopefully it gets renewed for another thing and we get some more of the, uh, you know, uh, anti-hero slash hero side of Harley and uh, whatever they do with the Bat Family and stuff. And Joker is the mayor is still probably going to be hilarious. So there, there's all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? And, and if they can get a... Pasta maker joke to work for Bane for an entire season. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can do pretty much anything at this point. And at some point we need to get yeah, that damn rat man payoff. All right. <laughs> yeah, we've already kind of gone all over the place with here. We have Joker's the mayor. Batgirl runs the Bat family. Ivy is presumably going to still be the de facto leader of the uh, Legion of Doom. Because even if her not killing Joker pisses Lex off. He's probably still going to give her the job. Right. And Harley is Batman's psychiatrist. Indeed.
So, uh, whatever they choose to do, I'm kind of hoping for at least one more season. So, uh, when that comes, uh, it'll be on the channel. But then if it comes, probably will. So, uh, yeah, I can't imagine this season was, wasn't as successful as the other two, if not more so. So also Clayface is Billy Bob Thornton. Oh, yes. Also Clayface is Billy Bob Thornton. They, they got plenty to work off, honestly, you know, so. They also still seeded uh freaking Aquaman as becoming a thing too. So we'll have to see if that comes up in another season. Mm hmm. <laughs> they have no shortage of, you know, source material to pull on. So <laughs> if they want to keep doing it, you know what I mean? It's like one of those things, like uh, the creator of Archer said, as long as I, I got ideas, I'm going to keep making Archer. You know what I mean? As long as I have ideas and people like it, I'm going to keep doing it. Kind of like what Bernie said with Red vs. Blue and Rooster Teeth and stuff like that. So I'm sure that this group, you know, especially with HBO, um, as long as people want to see it and it's doing well, I can't imagine it's not doing well. You know what I mean? I just, I can't imagine. Unlike Red vs. Blue. Yeah, unlike Red vs. Blue. So... Which is probably canceled at this point. Yeah, which is probably finally over after the whole uh, RVB Zero debacle. But uh, that being said, we'll be back with uh, more like uh, comedy, ridiculous hijinks, uh, animated night uh, in a couple weeks uh, doing Archer uh, next because one of my favorite shows. And uh, yeah. Ignore I, me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to see uh, what that season entails. But um. Yeah, we'll be back on Sundays in a couple weeks with Archer. So, uh, once again, Harley Quinn, Season 3, Episode 10. Thumbs up and a big thumbs up on the season. So, bravo. Uh, once again, DC does villains better than heroes. Who would have guessed? <laughs> anyway. Uh, that'll do it. You got anything else, Age? totally other random little thing bane got uh bane got moved in the freaking villain hierarchy just because ivy doesn't want to deal with them yes i don't want to babysit bane <laughs> so he literally got moved to the kitty table basically <laughs> oh man once again the little things we'll leave it at that so ladies and gentlemen people of youtube beyond have you're watching we always appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us here in the dojo for a more animated night in the dojo. This was Harley Quinn, season three, episode 10, season finale. So have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you watch. Have a good one. See you next time.